What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Show All Life Goody back at it with the Ashes Cricket Career Mode, and it's round nine in the England County Cup Division One. We'll be playing Hampshire, as you can see. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's just get right into it. We're in fourth, by the way, right down the middle of the table, and uh, Hampshire is sixth. So yeah, let's just get into it. Let's select the lineup and let's move on, mate. Right, so look at this. Look, the whole team. There is not a single wicket keeper. I mean, that's what I've been looking for this whole time. I wanted a proper wicket keeper to replace with uh, um, Ravi Bapara, but I see that there are a couple of players that can, you know, if you look at the wicket keeping skill on the right side of the screen, um, there are. Tami Mekbal has got 34, so that's good to see. You can give him the gloves. But, oh, look at that. Nick Brown has 37. I think Brown has the highest rating, so. And as you can see, Ravi Bupara is zero. So I've made Brown, Nick Brown, the official uh, wicket keeper. As you can see, the stats are on the right side. On the left side is Nick Brown. On the right side is, as you can see, Ravi Bupara. He had zero wicket keeping experience and skills, yet he was the wicket keeper. So I've changed that alongside with that. I've also changed. Um, um, I brought on Matt Quinn. I took out Walter. And uh, yeah, I, I took out Villani as well and uh, brought uh, Brown in. So uh, those are some of the changes I've made. And yeah, let's just get into the game, yeah? Now I really like this game, but there's one thing I don't like about it. It's the fact that there are sponsors and, you know, things like that around the stadium that are not really England related. Um, like right now, the wickets you can see is the Magellan Ashes series uh, wickets. Um, the boundary rope says Cricket Australia, even though the game is played in England. So, uh, things like that. I mean, these are very minor things that really does not affect the game uh, all that much. It's just aesthetics, really. But it bothers me. But yeah, there's a three-day lookout. The pitch is looking hard and dusty. I don't know if it was. I didn't see it. But it's looking like it's hard and dusty. Uh, but yeah, uh, who's the captain? Alright, Hampshire called. Oh, we won. Oh, what should I do? Oh, it's worn, dusty, hard pitch with no cracks. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to bat first. Come on. It's a belter of a pitch, and therefore I am going to choose to bat first. Especially since I'm opening. Alongside the masterclass, Alester Cook. I've learned a thing or two from him. Patience is uh, the most important thing that he's taught me. It's not really something that you can teach... But uh, he has uh, told me to work on it, and he hasn't. I, I wish I could speak to Alistair Cook. Come on, man. He's a fucking legend. I'm a fucking dickhead. Anyways, Carl Ebert will be opening the bowling for them. And Alistair Cook and myself will be opening the batting for Essex. Oh, he's going to bowl my legs. Oh, there's a fielder there, but I think I'm going to beat him. Yo! Okay, I do. I thought he stopped it. But I, but he didn't. He's, it's gone for four runs. All right, so on the off, let's play it into the gap. No point. And I think it's going to be the field. I don't think it's going to be the field, uh, but we can take three runs, and we do. So that's uh, just one run less than a boundary, really. So shouldn't shouldn't bother us that much. Oh look at that! It's Liam Dawson. I just noticed it's Dawson, Liam Dawson, and I've hit him for a six. Just as I recognize him, he's the guy who plays for Peshawar Zolnis. Not in this game, but oh, there's the 50 partnership. Oh, yeah, of course. The first wicket partnership. Do you know what? Totally. I'm going to hit you straight down the ground. And I've cleared the fielders. Not quite clear the boundary. But I do collect four runs. Oi, Liam. I'm going to hit you straight. Oh, and I do. And the mid-off has not done you justice, Liam. Liam, I feel sorry for you. The mid-on should have done much better on that occasion. Just watch as it go past him. It's gone for four. All right, it's going to be a short one, and I've played that well. I think I have. There's a fielder there on the rope, but it beats him, and there's there it is again. Shop.cricket.au. Anyways, four runs. Bloody tripper. All right, mate. Let's hit it on the off. Oh, and it's into the gap, and it's gone. It's beaten both the fielders. It's four runs. Is that my 50? Not too sure what I was on. But I'm bloody close to my off century, that's for sure. Oh, that's not my 50 because they don't show me raising the bat. You know what? Let's go in a similar position. Oh my god! I almost got out due to my stupidity. I was a bit late on that shot. But I it was safe in the end. No fielder there. And that's two. And that's definitely my 50 now. Oh my god, what a throw that was. Direct hit. Raise that bat, mate. 
61. Raise it proudly. Represent Adidas. The best cricket bats out there. Anyways, if any company out there wants to sign me, um, you know, I'll say that for, for you. Doesn't... <gasps> Whoa, that was close. I, I'm not sure how... Oh, that wasn't out, but there's my wagon wheel. Ooh, it's on the legs. Let's go. Let's go over deep final leg into the stand. Six runs. 93 meters. I loved it. I love it when the commentators say that. Um, they always finish it with six runs or four runs. Well, at least they do in the video games that I grew up playing. The EA Sports and... The Brian Lara International Crickets and all of them. The Ricky Ponting one. There was one. Yeah, that was a Ricky Ponting one as well. I love those games, right? Just wish they could make. Oh, you know what? Another. Am I out? Ah, oh, fuck me. I'm out. Got a top point. A top what? Oh my god, I didn't speak. <laughs> Excuse me. Irvine caught that one. And I got a top edge trying to heave it. Over final leg, final leg gets me this time. Yeah, look at that. I was, <laughs> yeah, that was completely misjudged. But yeah, don't you guys wish there was more cricket games too, like EA Sports and Konami? No, not Konami. Code Masters. Yeah, that, that was another one. Uh, yeah, they were making brilliant games. Wait, anyways, Kelton Taylor is now out there in the middle, and uh, it's turning out to be quite a good game. We've given them a good start, you know. Yeah, no, let's to both. And that's a lovely shot. What is this camera angle, mate? Righty then, let's skip it. Ooh, that's a good partnership, that one. And after that, things break down. We scored about 320, I think. I didn't quite see the last figure, but I think it's 320, something like that. Uh, they've given you the ball now. And they've scored 50. Oh, wow. 53. With a loss of four wickets. Damn, bro. Damn. So 324 is what we've scored then. Yeah, because if it's 271 is what they're trailing by. Yeah, 271 in the corner. And they've scored 53. That's um, 324, right? Oh, first delivery. It's going down. It's going down the leg stump. I think it was pitched outside line too. I'm not too sure. And also height was a factor there. But Rousseau, you survived this time, Riley. You won't survive next time, that's for sure. You know what? Let's check the big eye. It's been a long time since I've, uh... Oh, that's swinging a lot. That's swinging a lot. Oh, it was pitched in line, impact in line as well. It was just a height. So if it was a bit low, it would have been out. Yeah, I thought it might have been drifting down like stump, but it wasn't. It was drifting over it. If uh, you can even say that. I'm not too sure if you can or can't. Another block, another dot. You know what, let's bring it back in. Oh, he seems to be very uncomfortable against this delivery. I'm bringing it back inside the lefty. It's not easy to play, you know, because left armers do that to me in, in real life. I mean, it's very difficult to play. Let's go with it again. It's in front, but it's uh, it was an outswing. Uh, so it was definitely missing the stumps. Also, it was outside of off, so couldn't have been given out. Oh, come on! That was so close! Very close. Wow. Alright, so that's the most exciting thing that's happened in the past 40 overs. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm skipping so much and I'm only showing, like, deliveries like this that nothing happens of. Well, look at that. Look, I've got zero wickets and I've given zero runs. What else do you want me to show you? There's another dot. That... I mean, the previous delivery was at least a little bit exciting. That one wasn't even, you know, it was just, you know what I mean. Come on, man. With a short one, and I hit him in the chest, in the side boob. Anyways, let's go. Oh, he's played that nicely. <laughs> wow. Jeez, that's called threading the needle, mate. The two fielders are so close, and he some fa uh, somehow finds the gap. Has gone for four. We've got a real highlight now. You know what? Let's go with the in swing. Oh, height. I think height is a factor. I think it's going over the stumps, and it is. The umpire says, no, mate, it's not out. It's going over. Let's check the big eye. I think it's going over, but you know what? You've got nothing else to do, so might as well, right? 
Oh wow, that swung back a lot. I didn't even mean to swing it back. Oh yeah, it's gone over by a lot this time. Yeah, there you go. Now right, let's go ahead and then swing it. Oh, that swung a lot. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Yes, it's gone. Yes, I knew it. I knew it was going to hit the stumps. That's why I was like, please don't pick up the ball before it hits the stump. Because my guy was just running on his own. I wasn't actually pressing any buttons there. I was like, please don't. Please don't. Let it hit the stumps. And it just rolls onto the stumps. And the bales are dislodged. I personally don't think the bales would dislodge in real life if it hits at that speed. I mean, you need a lot more than that to dislodge the bales. I mean, I've seen actual balls being bowled where the wicket's being clipped and the bales haven't dislodged. So, uh, I don't think that would have... Anyways, it's a wicket for me, and I'm happy that I've got it. And Mason Crane is the next man in. You're going down, mate. You know, uh, oh, McManus, that's a good shot. Brilliant shot, and he's playing tremendously well. 151 now, 155, I think. Look at that, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. They've got a big total. They've only got two wickets on the hand, which is a good news for us, but they have scored a lot of runs. They have gone over the amount of runs we've scored. Let's go. Oh, that's a lovely shot. He's really going after me. That second four of this over. Yes, it is. There it goes. Two fours. Not very good. The ball is not turning as much as I would like it to. No, this McManus guy has it out for me. He's going after. <gasps> yes, he's gone. Yes, he's gone. Yes, he is. Gonski. Finally. Got him. Got him, mate. He was really, like, every single delivery he attempted a shot. He was trying, he was really going after me. That's why I pushed all my inner circle fielders back. I was hoping for a catch, but, I mean, I got a catch. But, uh, not from, uh, the outfielders, but rather the wicketkeeper. All right, and that's the end of their innings. I just realized what was happening. I was like, wait, what is happening? That was the last wicket. That's what happened. 3.42... So only 28 runs they lead by. Let's go straight down. Oh, that's a lovely straight drive. It's going to beat the both of the fielders, and it's gone. Especially mid-off, as he was a bit deeper than the mid-on. And it's gone Forsky. Forsky? I don't know. Doesn't, doesn't have quite the same ring to it as Gunsky. Oh, it's on the body. Oh, that's played nicely. Will the deep final leg get to it? No, he won't. He gets to it. But uh, it's a bit too late. And I don't think that's a final leg. I think that's more of a square, deep square, something like that, backward square. Oh, let's cut that one. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, that's played really well, and it's gone. I didn't think I'd played it that well because the timing says, you know, it's okay timing. It's not good or ideal. But it's gone to the boundary like a flash, mate. Suppose it was struck well then. It was right between the two fielders to the slips and the, the point fielder. Short again. Oh, and this time it's played really well. I think it's going to go all the way. Yes, it has. Wow. I love playing that shot because Imran Nazir used to play that shot. He used to hit sixes with it, especially in the 2007 T20 World Cup against India. And the final, he hit a couple in that area I just love it and it's such a difficult shot I try to play it in real life and I've gotten out many times playing that shot let's see if I can get a good thumbnail out of this shot mm, maybe not maybe not who is drifting down leg oh played well using the pace of the ball even though he's in, he hasn't got much pace and it's gone for four 89.4 K's it's not that fast but uh Still used it pretty well. Mason Cray, that was the wrong one. It didn't come back. Thought it might come back. And if it had, it might have really put me in trouble there. The kind of shot I played. It's short and on the body. Pull it away. Oh, that, that, that was a nick. That was a nick. And it's worked out perfectly for me. And that's 50 partners. But I've just 33 deliveries. Elastic Cook and myself are going strong. And I don't know why, it just seems like we give our team such a good start and then it all goes to shit afterwards. There's maybe one other player that usually bats well and we don't do too well. We obviously don't do that well with the ball either, giving up a lot of runs. I mean, what a shot, it's gone. Is it? 
I'm gonna run. Oh, he has. <laughs> I thought it might, the fielder might get to it. But he doesn't, and it's four more runs, two back to back boundaries. Like I was saying, I mean, it's not just our batting. Because we do score about 300, over 300 runs. You know what? Let's go on the leg. And that's gone. Four runs. <laughs> Lovely shot. Even though it was so late, I mean, you can tell from the animation. It was very late, and it's, it's, it's ideal. But, you know, that's just how the, the way the game is now after that update. The timing's really late. Anyways, like I was saying, we scored about 300, over 300 runs, but we couldn't defend it all that much. I mean, even though we got four wickets early on, we still couldn't capitalize on it, and McManus really took it away from us. But still, we've, we're in a good position right now, so let's hope that we can continue. At least Celeste Cook and myself, let's hope we can put up like a 200 partnership. That would be great. Right, let's go straight on. Lovely. That is lovely. Lovely, mate. No need to run after that one. That's four runs. I am being a bit aggressive. Oh, haven't got quite all of it. Got enough on it for it to race away to the boundary. Yeah, I'm playing a bit quick. Which is alright, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. As long as I don't lose my wicket, that is. You know what, let's sweep it. Oh, that's not a good shot. I was a bit late on it, it's the game says. I thought it was, I was alright. But that's probably the first time I've played the sweep shot in this game. And there is my half century. Bring it up in a sweeping way, get it? Because if we, anyways. Ah, uh, there it is. 50 of 38. You know what, Crane? Let's go. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Will it go all the way? No, it won't. Oh, wow. It looked like it just landed on the rope, but not to be because it's full. It landed just before it. Let's watch the replay. Because it looked like it was right on the rope. But I think it landed just before. I mean, it had to be. To be given... Look at that, mate. That was so close. To be given a four, obviously had to land before it. Couldn't have landed after it, then it would be a six. Well, let me smash it on the off. Oh, I've nicked that one. But it's gone past the fielder and it's going to be a four. Either way, the result's the same. It doesn't matter in which manner it's brought up. As long as it's a four or a six. I meant to play it on the off, but I think I got an edge there. Yeah, definitely an edge there. It went backwards. And I'm going to smack it down. Oh, oh, that's a good hit. That's a good hit. It hits the side screen. It used to be an achievement or an objective or something like that. That would pop up every time you'd hit the side screen. Don Bradman 14, I think, had those. I think I liked uh, 14's uh, skill ratings and all that a lot better as well because you'd get extra skills. Oh, no, actually, no. You won't get it. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I don't like it as much. Because you couldn't allocate. Oh, my God. They have just dropped me. They have just dropped me. Wow. I was a bit early on that cut shot. I shouldn't have been cutting to begin with. I mean, it was, it was on my body. So I shouldn't have been cutting that one to begin with. But I did. I failed. But I survived, thankfully. But yeah, like I was saying, in DBC 14, now that I think about it, I don't actually like it as much. I think they should combine this system with that system. So in other words, I'm going to block this one. So in other words, you get a certain amount of skill points that you can put towards your um, player skills, like you do in this game. But you also get extra skills. Uh, by doing things in the game. So like if you had a half century or a hundred or, you know, something like that, you get a skill like in, in Don Bradman you used to. You know, if you had a six, you got, I don't know, you got some uh, stat went up, you know. And if you get a wicket with an in-swinger, your in-swinger would go up. If you got a wicket with a slower delivery, your slow uh, delivery skill would go up. You know, stuff like that. I think if they yep. combine those two systems, I think it would make the perfect system. But... Yeah, I mean, this system is not bad at all. I actually prefer, if there has to be one system, and they're not going to combine the two, then I would prefer this system much better. You know what, let me just smack Topley over the top. Get it? Topley over the top. Anyways, that's four runs. It wasn't even over the top. I tried to, to make it over the top, but it wasn't. Just a four. You know what, smack it. Hey, there's a fielder. Okay, I've cleared the fielder. He's gone for four. 
You know what, let's go once more this time. I think it's a six. Is it? No, it's not. One bounce over the rope. Four runs, two back-to-back -back hits. And I wish that would have been a six, but it wasn't. It's Liam Do Dawson, by the way. <laughs> and he got smacked quite a bit in the semifinal, I think it was. But he did do the smacking himself as well, so you can forgive him for that. You know what? I think I'm going to go after him again. If he bowls on the leg, I'm going to keep smacking you in that squarish area. Oh, it's on the off this time. Oh, my God. It's not out. Come on. I offered a shot. It's way outside line. There's no way it's out. Oh, this time it gives me much more room, and that is what I wanted to do on the previous delivery. A lovely, lovely cut shot into that gullyish area, and it's gone for four, mate. You know what? Let's go on the off. I mean, on the leg. <laughs> I wanted to go on the off, but he didn't bowl it on the off. He bowls on my leg, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go on the leg side if he bowl on my leg. It only makes sense, isn't it? And that's 150 partnership off of 143. This is what I wanted, mate. I wanted a huge partnership. But you know what? Like, like I said previously, we bat so well, me and Alester, both of us. And then they're going to come out, the others. They're going to do fuck all. They're just going to mess it all up. On 99, mate. On 99. Oh, I've nicked that one. Shut up, mate. I've nicked that one. And that's my 100. Raise that bat, mate. Raise it. That's it. You deserve it. Of 95 deliveries. It's a bit quicker. But you know what? We got there, and that's all that matters. What I'm going to... Oh, yeah. It's good. Oh! Come on! I'm gone. 162 partnership comes to an end, and I'm going for 101 off 97 deliveries, two sixes, 16 fours, going at a strike rate of 104.1, and it's Liam Dawson who takes my catch. Mason Crane with the ball. Oh man, I wanted to go over the top on the extra, in the extra cover area. I didn't time it that well, and it went straight into the hands of the cover fielder and Nick Brown is the next man in and I can bat quite a bit but I don't know what's going to look I'm going to skip it and there you go there you go that's what I'm talking about see that the fuck am I meant to do there like how what what sh according to their skill level I've picked the best players I mean I showed you guys that I've picked the best players but I just don't get it, man. Just don't fucking get it. 239 is what they trail by. 277 is what we scored. So disappointing. When you score 100 and what was it? 63, 64 between two players. And then they can't even score 100 runs, the rest of the team, on their own. It's just dumb, man. But yeah, we have to find a way to win this game because we've lost the last game as well. Can't lose two in a row. What should I do? Should I change the balling? Heimer has done well. He's taken two wickets. I might just let him ball, you know? You know what? Let's just move it up. Oh, that was quite some movement there. He didn't play it, but when I get excited, I always appeal. But that was some amazing movement off the pitch and in the air as well. There was some reverse swing there as well. I've been bringing it back and I'm going to move this one away. What a delivery. Come on. Man. That delivery deserved a wicket. How did I not get a wicket with it? The Batman, ha Batman, the batsman have no clue what to do with that. Adams. He was bamboozled, mate, and we only get one more wicket. I think it's Hammer who took that wicket as well. Let's manage the bowlers. Yeah, uh, no, it was Hammer, actually. Hammer didn't get another wicket. We're going to lose another game. Oh, that's a lovely back foot. Oh, that's just great. Adams, what a shot that was. This is turning out to be quite a brilliant partnership between these two, Adams and Rousseau. And yeah, 260 is the target. I'm pretty, pretty certain that they are going to win this. I mean... They need, what, 40, 38 more runs, so, yeah, they're almost there. And uh, they've only lost three wickets and two very settled, well-settled batsmen. I'm just going to appeal because there's nothing better to do, right? And they have won, like I predicted. We took two more wickets, so that's um, that was good. I didn't take any wickets. 
But I did bowl tremendously well. I mean, I was swinging it so much. I'm just surprised I didn't take any wickets. But this is how it started. First, we came out. Alistair Cook scored 50. I scored 56. 49 from Brown, 57 from Taylor, 22 from Ripon, 36 from Papara. Overall, very good performance. Two for Hara, 19 for our man. Niger got 14, one for Matt Quinn, and 17 for Aaron Beard, totaling to 324 in 76.4 overs. Very good uh, so far. And they, uh, these are the bowling figures for them. Two for Abbott, one for Topley, five for Dawson. Look at that. One for Edwards. Edwards? Edwards! And I haven't get, didn't get any. And then they came out to bat uh, Carberry. Got 28, 7 for Burns, 8 for Adams. Dawson with a duck, look at that. A golden one as well. Rousseau with 55, 24 for Irvin. Uh, McManus with a brilliant 159, 16 for Topley. 88 for Carl Abbott. 80 bloody 8 for Abbott. And 3 for Crane. 2 for Edwards. Totaling to 342. These are our bowling stats. I've given pretty much everyone the ball. Four for Imer, brilliant figures there. Three for Beard, two for me, none for Imer, none for Kern, none for Niger, one for Rapon, none for Bapar, none for Taylor. I've tried everything. We just weren't able to take wickets. Then we came out to bat in the second innings. A brilliant start from Cook. And I, 63 for Cook, 101 for myself, and a golden duck for Brown. And that is where it just all went to shit. 18 for uh, Taylor, none for Ripon, 45 for Papara, the only saving grace there. 17 for Hama, 4 for Arma, 21 for Niger, and it's just all crap, 277 total. 2 for Abbott, none for uh, Top Fleet, Crane got 4, Irvin got uh, 2, Dawson got none this time, and 2 for Edwards. And uh, then they came out and with a loss of 5 wickets, finish it off, none for Carberry, 14 for Burns, 108 for Adams. 7 for Dawson and 118 not out for Riley Russo. And then Irvin has gone for none. And McManus scored 16 not out. And then I'm, uh, I'm now just curious to know who the man of the match is. Uh, but yeah, we came out to ball. 2 for Iman, none for me, none for Beard, none for Ripon, none for Quinn, 2 for Niger, and 1 for Harmer. And Lewis McManus, all right, the man who scored 159 in the first innings is the man at the match. And, uh, yeah, they've won the game by five wickets. And this is our second loss. And it's just not looking good. I'm the captain, obviously. I have to take the blame. Whether I take the blame or not, they're going to put it on me. It always goes down to the captain. And the decision he's made, they're probably going to point to the fact that I used pretty much my whole team to bowl. <laughs> but I had to. I mean, literally nobody was able to take wickets. I mean, not nobody, but you know what I mean. And uh, the bowlers like Amir and Aaron Beard, who were taking wickets, had to be rested. And then I came in and I took a couple of wickets, wickets in the first innings, but couldn't do much in the second innings. All right, so uh, next episode, we'll be playing round 10. In the England County Cup in Division 1. And as you can see, we're fourth. But if we lose this next game, which is the last game of the, the season, I believe, we will drop down to fifth or even sixth. Depends on the run rate. But let's hope that we are, will win that game. But I am going to end this video right here, right now. And as always, if you like this video, smash that like button. And then like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want to do. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then. Have a nice...